hey Paige, I'm gonna walk you through everything. Um, so right now I'm looking at your this, this thing that went to you. I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit about everything. First of all, remember the main reason that we have a host is um, to help things flow better together. In particular, for the person who's there for the first time. They're like, I got this church, are they gonna be judged? Um, are we gonna put their picture up on Facebook? And then all their buddies know that they went to church. I have a hair that's up, so. Um, so like we wanna, we wanna just talk in ways that they can understand. Think about the person that's not saved we want them to feel comfortable when they come here. And the only way to do that is to change how we talk. That way when one person comes, they'll be like, oh yeah, I can understand what they're saying at that church. Um, and to just make the service flow a little bit better. So, okay, the first thing is the welcome talk. Um, and I would actually, the, the thing you had gotta do there is say welcome. And you've gotta say, stand with me as we worship have people stand up. You're the person that says, stand up. Um, uh, it also would be great this time if you say something like, something about, um, like this is the first week of uh, Pastor Deal's new series on the book of Romans. He's doing a series called Roaming Romans, where he's going to take, it's called Roaming Romans, because he's going to take um, like a chapter here and a chapter there. He's, it's not like he's studying the book of Romans. He's going to pick a couple spots throughout Romans and preach about it. So he's roaming in Romans. Um, so I'll just demo an idea, something to the effect of, for the welcome talk. Good morning, New Hope, or good evening, New Hope. I'm so glad you chose to worship with us today. This is a great day to be at church because Pastor Deal is starting his Roaming Romans series today. And so we're really looking forward to that message in just a little bit. But first, would you stand with me? We're going to worship the Lord together and give him the praise that he deserves. And once you say, would you stand with me, I'm going to be like, two, three, four, and we're going to be playing the piano and stuff. Well, I'll be playing the piano and, you know. Um, so I would say, welcome. This is a great day to be here because pastor's doing a new series. And would you stand with me? We're going to worship our Lord before we hear that message. So something like that. And we'll just take it over and you leave the stage and we do our worship time. Then. The last song is Revelation song. This is the one that goes, uh, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. The chorus goes, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Um, and at the end of that, I got an itch. Um, at the end of that, Nathan, he's leading. He might like kind of look at you and be like, or I might do it. I'll probably do it. He doesn't think about that stuff. Kind of look at me. I'll be like, now's your time, Paige. And just kind of walk up. Even if we're still playing, like we will be playing. Like just kind of come up and stand next to Nathan. And when we're quiet, we'll be like real soft. Uh, close out the worship time. That's what it says at the end of the worship. Paige closes out worship. So close it out in a way that feels appropriate to you. Probably a prayer. Lord, you are so holy and we do give you all our worship. We praise you. Amen. You can be seated or go ahead and have a seat. Uh, that's important that you say be seated because I've taught the band. It used to be like during the prayer, the bass player would be like, I'm done. And people would start walking off the stage and it was really distracting. It's like, you're praying. Um, so whoever's closing out the worship time needs to say, you can be seated. That not only... Uh, gives a cue to the congregation, but it gives a cue to the worship team that they can put their microphones down and be seated themselves. Um, so that's pretty easy. Uh, just kind of pray. Just close it out. You can be seated. Um, then, a little different this week, then you will either go straight to offering on Saturday night and at 9 a.m. you'll go straight to the offering lead-in or You'll say, in the 1030 service, we have the child dedication. You'll say something like, just lead into the baby dedication. For example, and I even wrote this out, Pastor and the Carey family, C-A-R-Y, Carey family, Pastor and the Carey family are going to come up now 
we have the opportunity to pray for and dedicate their little one to the Lord. And you saying that sentence, my dad, he's good. If you say, Pastor and the Carey family are going to come up now and we're going to pray for and dedicate their little one to the Lord. My dad's going to be running. He's going to be up there and he'll be like, thanks, Paige. And then you go sit down and he'll do the baby dedication. And then after the baby dedication, watch, he'll do this. He'll look at you and be like, like go for it. It's your turn now. Um, and then just jump up. Don't be sitting too far back because it'll take a while for you to get up there. Just get back up on the stage and uh, do the offering time. There's two things I'd love for you to do at the offering time. Um, one would be to say something, do the announcement. Say something like this. Microphone. I've got one quick announcement. I want to make sure you see this purple box on your bulletin. Grab a bulletin. I want, want to make sure you see this purple box on your bulletin. We have an Easter choir, and practices are going to start next week, the 28th. Um, practices are going to start up later this month. Uh, so make, sh make sure you see that. If you love to sing, we'd love for you to do, be, the, be in the choir. Something like that. Look at the purple box, do choir. Say it however you're comfortable with. Um, it's cool. You know, that's not the only thing that's exciting that's happening. Uh, and then share something exciting that's happened, something that our money does, and then say, we can do stuff like that because of your faithful giving. Let's pray for the offering. Okay? Um, so here are some ideas. Um, uh, earlier this week, this actually just happened. Earlier this week... We opened up our building and a group of student leaders from DeKalb schools came and had a training session. We normally charge for stuff like that, but we waived our fee because we wanted this group, because we wanted to invest in the next generation. We're able to do stuff like that because of your faithful giving. Okay. Um, that was DeKalb Voice. You might be familiar. Uh, wait, you went to Lakewood. Never mind. Um, Another thing, um, Nation to Nation Christian University is about to uh, graduate their first class of students here in a, in, a, <clears throat> in a few weeks, and we really love them, um, like, like, and, and we support them, like we give money to help support the school, um, and we're able to do that because of your faithful giving. Another idea, don't do all of these. I'm giving you some ideas. Um, another option could be, uh, we may, um, Inspiration Ministries does a Celebrate Recovery program uh, to help people recover from their hurts, habits, and hang-ups. And, uh, uh, and, and we supported them getting off the ground. We, we supported their, their first launch of this program uh, financially, and we're able to do that because of your faithful giving. Let's pray for the offering, and then pray for the offering, and say, God bless you as you give, and then a video will play. Um, does that make sense? So at the offering time, and it's either directly out of the worship time or it will happen after child dedication. So that section that says offering time, you gotta do two things. You gotta say, I have an announcement, read this and go to choir. Say it prettier than that. And then, um, I love that we're able to participate in stuff and I love that New Hope is able to impact the world. Here's an example and we're able to do it because of your faithful giving. Let's pray for the offering. Does that get you going on the right page? If it doesn't, um, shoot me back an email. Thank you, Paige. <laughs> Does that get you going on the right page? Thanks, Paige. <laughs>